What's up everybody, it's Chris with Simpsons Tractor Works. Let's do a little work on the tractor today. It's been raining since about four o'clock this morning. It quit about three o'clock this afternoon. A little muddy, don't want to get out there and start getting all that stuff up. And I rode up the yard when I first started and that was a pain in the butt, so I don't want to do that today. But I've had a little project in mind for the tractor. Let's take a look and see what we got. Now y'all know 95% of my work out here at the house has been all grapple work. Well, let me show you, if you're gonna use a grapple, this is what's gonna happen. Let me get down in here. Oh, look at that. That is just all beat up. That's indented. That's tore all to hell. Been pushed back out. I have been very fortunate, y'all. That right there, that's the only little mark I got. Nothing's coming out of it. But yeah, I've had sticks all up in here. You just can't see. When, you, when you're going into a pile of debris, you can't see what's you know, going through your grill. So, let me show you what I'm gonna try to do. So I went out and got me 16 gauge, two by two piece of aluminum, U-bolts, little cardboard to make a template. Travis is gonna help me out on this one a little bit. But we're gonna take this and we're gonna make a grill guard. Now, there's a company called 511 Designs. They make a nice, nice, you know, machine grill guard that looks looks really good. But, you know, I don't have $500. And I've been very fortunate. I've been very fortunate not to put a stick right through my radiator yet. And I just, I can't take that chance. So let's see what we can little redneck up here. And, uh protect this tractor a little bit. Hell, I should've took the grapple off. Huh? I should've took the grapple off, give me better room. Yeah, Let me go do that. Uh, I'm find you can't be saying motherfucker, I'm on the YouTube. Oh God. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I'm gonna Dang, that was some good stuff too. I was getting everything ready. Yeah. Damn, you gotta edit it. Remember the MF. -er. <laughs> All right, so, so well, yeah, let's put our template down and see what we need to mark out. Let's yeah. cut it. Yeah, that skill solder right now is what we need. Metal blade. We cut straight and pretty. That's you. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure this cardboarding. Mm-hmm. We're, we're straight, but. There you go. Now right. we. All right. You like it? I guess we can make a mark right there. One there. There you go. Mm-hmm. And then we'll remember to. 41. About. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Right. And then, uh, what was our middle? Ten, ten and three quarters. Ten and three quarters. Mm-hmm. Well, we're not, you said you're not thinking about not cutting that angle. But you're well, marking I mean, the middle. We're going to have to bend it a little bit. Yeah, in the middle. Yeah. There you go. Ten and three quarters. One more time. <clears throat> Alright, so that gives us the center point anyway. Let me let me grab that skill saw. It'll make a pretty cut on it. Alright. Alright everybody, so what we're doing is if you want to try this at home, I'll try to give you some measurements. And you know, we ain't we ain't real exact, but we're doing the best that's gonna work. Alright, so left to right, we're looking at twenty one and a half. Up and down, 
19 inches center center where the bend is right there like 10 and 3 quarter we're going to try to bend this a little bit we ain't, really ain't got the equipment to do it but we may stick it on the edge of the tailgate or something and just get a little bit of bend in there and then down here at the corners you know instead of instead of getting all fancy and cutting all this out you know we're just gonna let it come on straight down but we're gonna cut it down here so it doesn't hit the, the front end loader stand we're not gonna try to worry about all this and then it's just gonna sit flat right there and then hopefully take the u-bolts and that's how we're gonna hold it on I tell you what I really I really envy guys that know how to weld. They can, you can do all kind of stuff if you know how to weld. Alright, so we, we got to looking at it and uh, we almost forgot about the headlights. So basically all we did is you come in an inch from center, inch from the top, inch from the sides, and uh, that seemed like a pretty good look. So, you know, we're gonna cut this side over here off, cut the top off, these corners, and then we should, uh, then we're gonna try to bend it a little bit, and then we're gonna mount it and uh, take a look at where our holes are gonna go for the U-bolts. So, here we go. We ain't gonna catch that cardboard on fire on. We do recommend wearing proper personal protective equipment mm -hmm. that we don't really have. So I'm going to stand back and uh, let Travis do this. Got my new lid in today. A little magnetized action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can feel that metal just woo, wearing my head out. Yeah. Look at it, right in the middle. A chunk just stuck right in it. Hold on, let me look. I can't see. Oh, wait, hell, oh, there it is. Golly. I'll make sure you clear before I. Yeah. That it hurts, man. It's stuck in there. Is it? There we go. At least it wasn't barbed. Yeah. I didn't get out of the way soon enough. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Yeah, Let me go stand over here. That's bad. I think it's going to look like thunder. What do they call that? Thunder. Uh, yeah. Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do y'all think? Going to the grinder. Get to help me. Yep. Let's make some. Uh, let's make some headlight holes.
we had a nice indoor shop. By the way, all these gas cans in the back of my truck are, are very empty and have been for years. Very what? Empty. That's worse. <laughs> it's getting dark, y'all. I hope you can still see. Another use for the uh, front end loader. A little, little light holder. Uh, going to come through it ain't going to block any thunderdome mad max here's here's the next issue i see the uh this is for the holes for the u-bolts oh yeah we might should have cut that up a little higher but it's too late now okay so, so you see what I mean? Because we raise it up just a little, right? You know. Yeah, we may have to do it. Right. Uh, Something of that nature. Yeah, we didn't. I mean, it won't. Have, it, it won't have to come up much. No, it, it won't have to come up much. Uh uh Not really. We cut the holes real big. Yeah. So we got some play there on so the sides now, and the in the. Now we just need to. Oh, that bend's easy. It's actually better since we got the holes in it. I mean, we can just kind of bend it the way we want to, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Since she took them openings out of it, really. Yeah. It really loosened it up. I mean, I can bend that with my hand. Mm-hmm. I think that's going to be on the inside. Yeah, uh, we'll yeah. Uh, get the clamps and uh, get, yeah. it, get it stable, and then we'll uh, mark it out. All right, everybody. I think we're going to call it a night. So uh, I parked my truck in my wife's spot. She ain't real happy with me right now. She's sitting right there waiting on me. So we'll finish this up tomorrow. Stand by for part two.